Welcome back to stop number five of the 2024 APP Tour. You're taking a live look at Rob Nunnery, one of the veteran pro pickleball players here on the tour, 39 years old. He's partnered up with Ryler DeHart today in men's doubles, taking on Ben Newell and Eric Palet in our first men's doubles action that we're bringing you live on ESPN+. Plus. There's Ryler right here. So these two, a veteran, if you've been watching the APP or following professional pickleball, you know these two names. And what is it about? About their games that you're excited to see together today well what i'll be looking for out of ryla de hart is to really put some pressure on with that third shot drive if that's working for him it's a good position for nunnery to crash and then also with nunnery we always talk about him with that mixer where he can drop that paddle head down and flick that ball in any direction he wants and a nice start right there from nunnery just a little change of direction behind eric Paylet. There you see Eric, 25 years old, out of Burbank, California. He's paired up with Ben Newell. Ben's uh, really wanting to make his championship, championship Sunday. We already broke down that his wife is going to be playing tomorrow as well. Oh, and Nunnery with that mixer early on, but again going cross court to the left hip of Eric Pallette instead of going to that right hip. Flirts with that left hip, goes wide. Oh, that wind's blowing from left to right on your screen, so anything flirting with that right sideline, probably not going to stay in. That one. Ooh, that one looked very close to being wide. Yes. Very close, Riley to Hart. Painting the sideline early just, just to prove that he can. <laughs> oh, and Nunnery with the two hander, and he even as he's walking back to the baseline, shows the spot he went on Pilot. And again, that's not the spot he wants to go right to that forehand. So, first point in our best two out of three games, 2 11, goes the way of Newell and Pilot. Oh, Nunnery catches the net as he goes for that little flick. And it was Pilette there to clean it up, get the point. Oh, nice <laughs> little pull right there. Yeah, there's the mixer that stayed in. Yeah, and again, that's the forehand, though. It goes right over the right shoulder of Ben Newell with that. 0 2 1. DeHart with the serve. Oh, yeah. Get out of the way there for Nunnery, and it's a point for DeHart and Nunnery to start this first game. Little help from the net code there, pushing that ball deep. But we saw the good drive there from Ryla DeHart, and that's what's going to make it a little bit easier there for nunnery and dehart to get up to that kitchen line it puts so much pressure on early especially when it's lower and it has that heavy top spin dipping down below the net cord so working to get the ball back on the court here dehart has it it was easter egg hunt underneath <laughs> our booth here well there's a maze of cables and everything underneath it all the things required to bring you live live television Nice reach and flick there from Paylet. The heart's there again. Nunnery covering the middle as well, but it's off the edge guard of the heart's paddle. Wind really picking up right now. Oh. What a reaction there from Nunnery. <laughs> Gets that ball back over the net and stays in bounds. Just flicks it off of the chest. A little misdirect with that as well. You see the flag blowing around in the wind. Well, that point should have been over when that ball got floated in the middle, but you had Pilot and Newell fighting over it with both of their forehands. 
caused a miss hit and allowed Nunnery and DeHart to stay in that point. So DeHart and Nunnery doing a good job of getting quite a few points here on this second serve. They've got the lead back. Well, they've got the lead for the first time in this first game. 4-2-2 for Nunnery serve. Oh, great read from Nunnery. He knew exactly where that ball was going to go to the sideline. It was there nice and early, but again, trying to cut that back over. Nunnery again taking one that's so close to the chest fights it off But a good move by Paylet coming back in the court after going for that shake and bake early on Gets him back within one here in game number one Nunnery doing a little manual labor back here making sure that the Sandbags are set That cross-court ding not enough lift on it rolls off the net cord and not the side that nunnery wanted it to land on that one just a bit wide and again the wind is pushing from left to right so newell trying to go to that backhand side of the heart so with the wind affecting play the way it is right now what kind of shots are you expecting these players to lean into well it's the winds going left to right so dehart and nunnery are going to have to play left to right and keep that ball in play from that position if they go down the right side it's going to push everything out of bounds and then just the opposite on the other side for newell and paylette they had to play right to left Nice flick there from Newell. Yeah, their target becomes your three feet inside the line instead of six inches inside the line. 4 4 1, the score for Newell's serve. Nice spot there from DeHart. Just gets on top of it, down toward the feet of Paylet. Wow, look at that. And again, Nunnery with that angle, that's going almost downwind there. It just pushes it enough. Newell ready for that quick wrist flick from Nunnery. Gets it back. And Rob Nunnery goes a little long with the counter. Nice, heavy serve then for Paylet. You know, it's a little difficult here in championship court because we have that solid building, solid wall to the right of us. So it kind of creates a little bit of a wind tunnel. Moving that ball around, moving the wind around. Timeout called on the court as Newell and Paylette take an 8-4 lead here in game number one over DeHart and Nunnery. Just very consistent play from the duo as they start this game trying to punch their ticket to championship Sunday. Newell and Paylette, a team that if you've been following the APP tour, haven't seen quite as much of them on championship court. What is it, Dom, that you are liking about their game early on? Well, right now, I think it's, look at the opposite side, and they're not, that being Nunnery and DeHart, they're not finding the backhand side of Paylette enough right now. And they're letting Newell get involved. And when Newell's getting involved, he's creating. So they're letting him get involved a little too much. I'd like to see them go to Paylet a little more on his backhand side down that sideline. That's the ball I want right there. Just Nunnery you obviously got to make that shot and get that to Paylet's backhand. What that'll allow is it'll allow DeHart to get big in the middle. Ooh, Another big serve there. And it sets up a game point opportunity here for Paylet and Newell. Yeah, I think this is this is going to come down to end changes. Wow. Yeah. Or, or excuse me, DeHart goes for the Ernie, can't get the ball over the net. So game one of our men's doubles quarterfinal goes the way of Newell and Paylet. 11-4. They take the win in game one. Game two, when we come back to the APP Classic Classic Cincinnati.
Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. Newell and Eric Paylette take game one here in our men's doubles quarterfinals in the APP Vlasic Classic Cincinnati. Chad, how'd they get it done? Yeah, I mean, I I want to say it's going to be a little bit of a, a benefit to the wins uh, for for them as as far as a few uncharacteristic mistakes for, for Nunnery and, and DeHart, but as well, Newell did a good job of applying some pressure. Was moving well, Paylette reaching in, taking the chances to to be a little bit of a a little a, more aggressive. So it'll be interesting to see with the end change here uh, if Paylette and Newell are affected as much by the wind as Nunnery and DeHart were. Quick side out here, so it is going to be Newell and Paylette with a chance to get the first point in the second game. That's a great reach in there from Eric Paylette. Again, on the backhand side, it lets it cross his body just enough to where DeHart almost had to hold down the line, and then he flicks to his left hip. Oh, the around the post from Rob Nunnery. Just looks like it scrapes the sideline as Newell calls it in. No, I no, called it out. Oh, he called it out. Yeah, he yeah. called it out. Almost, almost hit him in the toes, but yeah, it looked a little not very short. Oh, he not decided out. not to challenge that one either. So it's one zero two. Got away with it. A little confusion in the middle from DeHart and Nunnery as they tap paddles on the forehand for both of them. Wow, what That's a slick. spot. Yeah, and I, I watched Newell do that a couple of times in his earlier matches. That dead dink just sitting right in front of him. Elevates it right into the chest. That one off the edge guard of DeHart. So Newell and Paylette get the ball back, same way they give it up, same score they gave it up. One zero one. One zero one for Paylette serve. Yeah, nice spot there from DeHart. Calm and cool down the line right there. Doesn't try and do too much. Just gets it to the spot.
Wow. Great defense in the middle of that point from DeHart and Nunnery, but what a finish there by, by Paylet. All four of these guys, I mean, in scramble mode at one point or another mm -hmm. during that point. Yeah, Paylet's doing a good job of reaching in and really staying compact with that flick. Lucky there with the ball catching the net cord. Good adjustment from Paolette, but not able to keep it in. Nonary Mixer hasn't been as effective here in this one as it typically is. What is it that makes it so hard for opponents to react to that shot? From well, he's, he's hitting every angle from the same the same spot. He can he can take that ball down the line, through the middle, cross court, and it's all coming from you know, an, an identical spot with the paddle. So there's no no giveaways. Not as much, no. Nice job right there, Rob Nunnery and DeHart. Good communication in that. DeHart almost came over in the middle and tried to really extend and get a ball. Nunnery talked, let him know he was there, reset back in the point. Time. A little unlucky off the net for Rob Nunnery, so pushes them on to their second serve. You see Nunnery with a big wrap on his right knee. Had a knee injury, MCL injury, earlier this season. Has been fighting through it ever since. Certainly Newell and Paylette making him run around quite a bit today and seems to be getting to everything pretty efficiently. But we know from talking with him that that knee does bother him. And oh, this one, <laughs> this time, the hard ball just sails out. It was being pushed down in game one. This time, not so much. Wow. Nunnery, two quick speed ups right there at Newell. Return there from the heart. Well, they got to fire up here before they get too far behind here in game number two, needing this second game to force the third. That one's out as well. The hot getting a little frustrated with the wind right now. So quickly on to their second serve 2 4 2 for Nunnery. That's a good spot right there from Nunnery. He follows in his drop and then a the little backhanded flick to the back corner. Great job of control and keeping that ball in. This time DeHart elevates it a little bit more, adds some spin. Neil both feet off the ground trying to get on top of it but pushes it flat. That ball moved in the wind. It was knuckling as it got the pilot. I mean, we're in a perfect line of it. You see it. So first lead of this second game for Nunnery and DeHart. Trying to extend it here. There's this. The little mixer off the bounce from Rob Nunnery. And the last thing that Newell and Paylette want is for these two to get in a rhythm. So they call a timeout on the court. DeHart and Nunnery working on a 6-4 lead here in a game that they must win if they want to force a decisive game three to see who moves on in our men's doubles bracket. Gives us a time to take a Turvis hydration break. Shout out to Turvis for making sure we stay hydrated all tournament long, each and every <laughs> tournament. It's always really important, especially in an outdoor sport, in a sport like pickleball, you have to stay hydrated. Oh, for sure. And, and it's deceptive here. We yeah. had some players yesterday that were, were struggling with a, a little bit of dehydration. But because it's not as warm, you're not really thinking about it. But there is yep. uh, a, a lot of humidity here right now with the, with the rain that we've had come through. So. So shout out to Travis. We appreciate you making sure that we stay hydrated in all of the conditions. 
back on the court. Play underway here. Nunnery and DeHart trying to extend this lead. Really critical for the, them to get a win here in game number two. And you can feel them. These two veterans of professional pickleball starting to lock in, starting to feel the rhythm here. They're going to challenge their own Cole. Yeah, Nunnery, Nunnery challenged his own Cole a couple of times yesterday. DeHart initially called that one out. Nunnery said no, it was in. The hot's like, no, I definitely think it was out. Understand. So a challenge called on the court. Uh, this is a new out. rule for the APP the tour out. in 2024. Puts us at 842. We will now proceed with the video challenge. So as you hear now, we're going to do a video review of this call. The reason this is a challengeable call is because it ended the point. You can only challenge a ball that ends the point, ends the rally. Has to be a line call. And so... What happens is the players have an unlimited number of these challenges, but after three failed challenges, they are assessed a technical warning. So here's a look at the video review that our officials are checking out to make sure they get this call right. You heard our lead the referee remind us of the score 842. So if the ball is out, and it's a point, really important point for Nunnery and DeHart, but if it is in, then it is um, side out. And It'll so then it's a chance for Newell and, and Paylet yep, to get back into this. So Bob Swisselm here is their lead referee here on championship court. You see Rob Nunnery having a laugh with Joey Farias, who is behind the Nunnery and DeHart bench right now. Again, in, I mean, in all honesty, a pretty important call here. If this is out 8-4, to Hart and Nunnery still cruising and rolling on here and extending their lead. But if this is in, side out, Newell and Paylet within three and serve in hand. And of course for Newell and Paylet, they really want to win this game and punch their ticket in two games to the next round of the men's doubles bracket. But to Hart and Nunnery have to get this game if they want to force that decisive game three and keep their hopes alive of advancing in the bracket. What do you think has been the biggest difference maker in this second game, Chad, to how DeHart and Nunnery have gotten themselves this lead? Well, Nunnery has been able to be a little bit more aggressive here on this end change. And, and the other part of it is what you're talking about in game one, Dom, is they're now able to find the backhand a little bit more of, of Paylet, keep him out of the middle of the court. He has done a good job of reaching in with a couple of backhand flicks, but when they get that ball bouncing, now you're able to move him away from the middle. Newell comes over to cover, and then it opens up that backhand side of Newell as well. Yeah, with them trying to find that backhand, Chad, you know, like we were talking about is if you can keep it down, that's where you need to find it. But yeah, Paylet, you mentioned. Looks like it's right on the line That so We get a look at our review. Yep, looks like it's probably in. But like you said, if Paylet is able to reach in and take that out of the air, he has review, called. The ball was in. So the out call is overturned. So he has caused some issues when he reaches in, that being Paylet with that backhand. Retain their challenge. So as you heard our lead referee there, our USA Pickleball referee, it is now a side out here. And so it is Newell and Paylet with the ball Boy. back on their side, 4-7-1. Chad is hanging I'm, on I'm, to our I'm holding on to the tent, our tent <laughs> so it doesn't right go now. away. The wind is definitely whipping here in Cincinnati. These players having to adjust to it on championship court. Missed quick. serve there. Yeah, I was going to say quick side out yep. there for Paylet and Newell. So Nunnery and DeHart get the ball back in the exact same situation they wow. last gave it up. Our right, ball got on Paylet really quick, right at his chest, off the pedal of Rob Nunnery. Great job of getting on top of that, getting it down. Nice ball there to the feet of Nunnery. But you're also noticing the depth of the returns for Paylet and Newell. Most of them are sitting there mid-court. It's allowing 
Nunnery and DeHart to step into it. Good adjustment there from DeHart. Oh, Where is it? Blow. <laughs> Who hit it? Each other like, Who I don't know it? who's going to take credit for it, but a point is a point. We'll take it either way. I'm pretty sure the hot hit that one. Nunnery is kind of a shadow swing. Either way, good teamwork. Big point for DeHart, or excuse me. Big oh, moment for DeHart and, and Nunnery here in this second game. I'll pay like. And Newell calmly get back within two here. Yeah, good pressure there from DeHart, continuing to keep Paylet back right there. As he wouldn't allow him to get to the kitchen line. I hear Nunnery telling himself to stop right there. What he's talking about is, is the balls that he's trying to drive. That one was a little bit lower. Ooh, yeah. filthy little flip there from Nunnery. Changes directions. Gets the point. He goes cross body on Newell. He's on his forehand, but he goes to the right hand or right shoulder of Ben Newell there. That felt like a very good example of that mixer that you were talking about. It, it was, and Nunnery had, I mean, uh, Newell had been, been doing a good job of sitting on the backhand and countering there, but for that ball, he just slid to the forehand side enough for Nunnery to find that shoulder. So a side out, Newell and Paylette with a chance to cut into this three-point lead here on their second serve. That's good patience right there. And again, Ryler DeHart doing a good job moving that ball sideline to sideline. He tripled up on the backhand side of Paylette there and then Nunnery able to step in and cause some pressure. I mean, I really do think side is playing a factor today. And we're gonna keep track of side to side and how that is becoming more and more of a factor today oh nice move from Newell. Newell splits the middle doesn't overhit that Ernie 9-5-2 the score for Nunnery serve that was a better drive there from Nunnery this time he was able to step into it and a timeout called on the court by Newell and Paylette as DeHart and Nunnery with their first game point opportunity here in game number two. Best two out of three to 11. So DeHart and Nunnery have to win this game to force us to that decisive game three. Pretty good crowd. You saw Nunnery trying to fire them up a little bit earlier here in this game. One of the fans rooting the hardest for DeHart is his daughter, Lily. She's been popping her head in and out around the court been a really fun weekend here well, in Cincinnati. J JR punched his ticket yesterday. Yep, got a gold medal in singles at 3-0. Congrats to JR DeHart. Between uh, JR, Lily, Megan, DeHart, Ryler's wife, and Ryler, that's a, that's a formidable pickleball family here on the APP Tour. Well, right now, Ryler's falling behind in the gold medal count. And you know who knows that best of all? <laughs> Ryler. Ryler. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Oh, no. Had Newell back. Could not come up because of the pressure from the big serve from Nunnery. So side out here. Newell and Pilette get the ball back. Trailing by five. Oh, 
Oh. So that's a, the difficulty there for Ben Yule is he's wanting to run around that backhand and hit the forehand. That leaves such a big gap in the middle. He has to rush to get back and cover. It's a little help from the net cord. Hart just misses long. I mean, he was full extension on that. He hits that with the edge of the paddle, and it goes just long. Second serve, third opportunity for DeHart and Nunnery to finish this game. And they get it done. DeHart and Nunnery take game two, 11-5. So we head to a game three to decide who moves on in our men's doubles bracket spot in the semifinals on the line. Game three when we come back on ESPN Plus to the APP Plus at Classic Cincinnati. Unless it's less beer. That tire. Nothing brings us together like Eggland's best eggs. We love the taste, always so fresh and delicious, plus superior nutrition. For us, it's eggs any style, as long as they're the best. Eggland's best. Quarterfinal. Yeah, in game one, Yule and Paylet able to put a little bit more pressure on. And again, they're playing on that north side of the court. It seems to not be as affected as much from the win. And then in game two, switching ends. And again, the video board side or the north side of the court is winning 22 to 9. And you saw, you know, there's Rob Nunnery trying to get the crowd into it. They come out on top 11 5. But again, we're going to keep track of that throughout the day. And as we do, you see the 22 to 9 north side to south side. And I believe that is going to be a factor all day long with the wind. So we'll keep track of that for you guys at home. Game three. As, as we showed the flags there, there was no wind. <laughs> <laughs> but so, OK, it's interesting, right? Our two large flags out there aren't blowing. The rainstorm flag here off to the side of the court is been going crazy and the larger flags haven't been so it's it's pushing through the rest of the courts are, are to the left side of the screen there so it's a pushing along this big tunnel and then hitting the uh the cement stands and, and building that Oh, Paylet fought it off his body, went for the own, he just pushed it down in the top of the net. Somehow he got that ball back. 
So the thing that will be unique to game three is that we change ends at six points, first team to six. So really important for DeHart and Nunnery right now when they're on that south side, if they can get. They've got to get two, three, four exactly. is a, a, a bonus. Could have at least keep it close. Oh, Paylek just sitting one spot, one spot only. The speed up from Nunnery goes right to that spot, which is the forehand pancake. Got a little discussion here with all four players with head referee Bob Swisshelm. Bob turned his microphone off before he went over there, so we couldn't hear what the discussion was about. Bob, very smart. <laughs> Bob is very smart. Well, that, oh. that time, not so that the last ball Paylet fought off, Nunnery thought that it hit him in the body. This time, definitely hitting him in the body. What an angle great. from DeHart on the backhand volley. Just carving that out cross court. 2-0-1, the score for DeHart serve. Newell's on that. He's really on that right there. Just tries to do a little too much and almost jumping away from it, too. Oh, and we can't even challenge it. Can't even challenge it. We're talking about Newell's. Ooh, his right foot there on the Ernie. So it would have been a footfall. Have to keep your feet out of the kitchen. But our USA pickleball officials saying they did not see that, and so it is instead on to their second serve for DeHart and Nunnery. And another Ernie there. Newell and Paylet just exchanging Ernie's to get the ball back on their side. Well, nice move from Paylet. He goes very late on this, almost pretty much after DeHart hits that ball. So, right now, DeHart and Nunnery doing exactly what they need to do, defending the south side of our championship court. Newell and Paylet. Trailing by three here. Have to find a way to get on the board. Oh, Nunnery almost jammed himself up. I think he almost had too much time to think about what he wanted to do, and he may have changed his mind last second. Gets Newell and Paylet on the board here in game three. Sure, why Newell was hanging back right there. Made two balls, or well, got two balls to drop into the kitchen, but just hung out at the baseline. Paylet came up, put himself in a tough position. Nunnery missing that forehand wide. Oh, wow, that ball got on him a little quick right there. I thought. He he thought it was going to bounce before him, but ends up carrying a little further. So Nunnery and DeHart go back to find the ball. And for your, those of you who may be new to pickleball, Chad, break down why they always try to get the ball back that they've been playing with versus getting a new ball. Well, it's it's you're used to that ball. It's it's a consistent bounce from you know what you've been playing in the last two and a half games. At times, that newer ball comes out, might not be as scuffed up, might slide through the court a little bit if it's if it's shinier and, and newer. We got some little debris blowing across the court. You might see some white flecks coming across your screen. That is, is not snow not in snowing. May. It is it Midwest is, snow. It is summer snow. Cottonwood falling like snow in July, as a country song says. One, three, two. One, three, two, the score for Newell serve. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought that point was over. Boy. 
Nice get there from Paylet. Another within one. Chance to tie things up here. Newell with the serve. That I formation almost worked out, but Newell a little too much zip on that last ball. So it's a side out. Good leave there from DeHart, not playing that ball. Good talk from Nunnery. Oh, Newell sliding on that one. So he tries to put a paddle on it. 4 2 lead. Nunnery still on the first serve. I think that ball Paylet hit on the backhand side was going to blow out. Yep. Started pushing that to the right sideline. Instead, it's a 5-2 lead here for DeHart and Nunnery. I believe a timeout called yep. on okay. the court, which this is always... Tom, Dom's already shaking his head. I he know, threw his say. hands up in the air and was shaking his head. So, so walk us through 5-2. You change ends at 6 break down why you do not like this timeout Dom <laughs> because you're you're getting a free timeout at six right I mean it's not that much of a difference if it's five two six two and then if it becomes late and you really need timeouts it's a tight game hold those two if you're gonna use one maybe use one at you know if it's three oh or four two or or something four one sure but at five it just and Chad and I both agree with this is like we just almost think it's a waste of a timeout um, so I'd almost rather you hold on to the two on the other side of the end chain so you have them late if you need them. Fair enough. Well, Nunnery into Hart. Potentially a serve away from changing ends on their terms. And while defending the south side, which we showed you that graphic of the wind, seems like it's wreaking a little bit more havoc on the points on the south side versus the north side. Here in Cincinnati, that wind picking up. Even you can hear it on the court mics throughout that point. Out of the timeout, Newell and Paylet force the side out. So they have a chance to cut into this lead. Trailing by three. That's a good spot right there from DeHart going to that middle. It looked like Newell was expecting him to come back down the line to his backhand. He pulled that back to the middle. Great placement there. Newell behind DeHart for the point. Yeah, a good combo there. Paylet steps up quickly. Puts that ball up high on Nunnery. The only thing you can do is take it cross court. Newell's able to take it down the line. Oh, Newell there too in a good position. He almost got, it almost Chad, it seemed like he got too low. Yeah. And because he was so low, he was kind of even with the tape and he goes right into it. Unlucky off the net cord for. Nunnery's backhand. So on to their second serve. I think there were two balls right in the middle there that I think DeHart should have jumped on. Nunnery had a couple good drops right there in the middle. The ball off the drop got floated up twice. Hart was looking for it, but not enough. Oh, oh no. To Hart missing that one after the confusion on the side of Newell and Paylet. They're within one. Newell was still flat on the on the court there when the Hart hit the oh. <laughs> <laughs> that time to Hart was not gonna miss the court. Newell. Newell's valiant effort. Newell's completely upset with himself. Then he misses this one. 
Well, he's he's mad he just that he missed he, it. He overhit. He overhit. <laughs> so it's a second serve. Again. So that, that's my issue with Newell hanging back a couple of times there. So on that one, it was a little bit different. The, the ball actually pushed him back, but then he's trying to rush up to that kitchen line and get up there so quickly. His, feet's not, his feet aren't set. Off the net court, and so it is a point for Nunnery and DeHart. They change ends on their terms, leading 6-4 here in game number three. Yeah, a nice job, though, from Newell and Paylet getting this at least a little closer because it looked like Nunnery and DeHart were going to have a pretty significant lead on the end change. But a good job from Newell and Paylet right there, that last ball. Newell's trying to hit it through someone's chest right yeah, there. That, that he was a goal. Really, <laughs> really took a big swing on it. Unfortunately for him, it goes off the tape and about 10 feet out. At one point, DeHart and Nunnery led 5-2 here in this first half of game number three. But like you said, Newell and Paylet managed to claw their way back into 6-4. You see... Ben's wife, Yana, doing a little bit of coaching on the sidelines, touching base with the duo. She's already punched her ticket to Championship Sunday. She's playing in our mixed doubles gold medal match with Brendan Long. You'll also see her with Megan Fudge in women's doubles later today. She's paired up with Ryler's wife, Megan Fudge. Yeah, they're actually going to be next on, on Championship next Court. on CC1. So we'll get Ryler to heart here and then Megan Fudge. His wife right afterwards. Six four one. Six four one. The score for Nunnery serve. Yeah, good hands right there from Newell in the middle. Speed net foul back up right at Rob Nunnery. Tough speed up for DeHart going cross court. Oh, Nunnery trying to get some love off the tape twice on back to back shots, but no love on the second. Yeah, nice deep ball there from DeHart. Pushes Newell all the way back behind the baseline. With that wind pushing the ball down. Tough for Newell to get it back. Ooh, oh, that ball was probably sailing. Newell, Newell Paylet thought he could get on top of it. But instead, sails out of bounds on the side of DeHart and Nunnery. They get the ball back. Up by two. It was very out. close. Very close. DeHart and Nunnery could challenge if they wanted to. Kind of surprised they didn't looks here like, late in game three. Yeah, looks like they're not. Pushes them onto their second serve instead of giving them a point. Dom, as you always say, we'll mark that down. Especially when you're on serve, too. It's a difference of a point right there. And instead, it pushed them on to their second serve. They get no points on their service side and have to give the ball back to Newell and Paylet. Wow. I mean, better job from Ben Newell coming in and being under control on his kind of punch volley. But great hands from Nunnery and DeHart to stay in that. Again, Chad's hanging on for dear life back here as wind 
picking up yet again. And that ball sailing long. So DeHart and Nunnery doing a great job to start this third game. The fact that they changed ends on their terms, given the side that they were defending, feels like a oh, momentum nice. moment. But Paylette and Newell haven't given much up. I mean, that's just a straight pancake punch. It's like three or four he's yeah. had. I'm going to suggest not going to that spot anymore. <laughs> Gets that one back too. And that. And that. Oh. And then that time to Hart finds the middle. Finally, they add to their score line. That's so good though. That's such good defense from Eric Paylette right there. Keeping him in the point. Finally, he had a perfect drop, allowed them to come up, but the Hart finding the opening in the middle. Crush to that from Neil. Four seven one. Four seven one. The score for Newell serve. Oh. That Again. ball just barely made it over the net cord, and then Riley's response, sailing wide. Yeah, Paylet with the defense fully stretched out here. Oh, tweener. Oh, tweener. Oh, beautiful <laughs> tweener reset from Ben Newell. Perfectly executed tweener from Newell. Time out here from Nunnery and DeHart. Understandably so. That was a really critical shot that wasn't just one of those shots in pickleball that kind of makes everybody gasp and get excited but for the momentum it was also massive because it gets them within one here in game three the winner of which will move on to our men's doubles semifinal out of this timeout dom what do you want to see to heart and memory do well again got to get back under control here and you got to slow that momentum i love the timeout here not giving any momentum to Newell and Paylette right here after the beautiful tweener drop. You sensed kind of the crowd getting behind them, the crowd getting into it right there. So you're going to slow it down, slow everything down, and kind of regroup with that timeout. Love it. Now they got to get back into what got them here. Get to the get to the kitchen line, get into those 50-50 points, and control the dinks. That's not it right there, what I wanted them to do on that. But... It's exactly what Newell and Paylette were going for, though. Ties us up, seven all. Yeah, again, good pressure there from DeHart. Pushing Paylette back. Oh. Oh. The heart going for a little too much there. It's tough with how close that was to the net. And it's an 8-7 lead for Newell and Paylette. The first time they have led in this third game. Oh, Paylette pretty much swung at it three times as it just floats by him first on the backhand then tries to hit it again in the forehand but off the tape winner for rob nunnery they'll take it as they get the ball back trailing by one and on to their second serve already all right just standing a little too tall on that drive hits the top of the ball and flattens out into the net that helped out there with a miss return from paylet Father to heart with the serve, 8-8-2. Nice ball right there, inside out forehand from Rob Nunnery. I like how he calls the heart off here because he had that off the first drive. Again, the commute 
Patient from DeHart and Nunnery getting that point and setting themselves up for a match point opportunity here in game three. Well, the big part of that point right there is the heart stepped up, put the pressure on with the shake and bake, knew that he couldn't get that third ball in the exchange, so left it for Nunnery, who was still back and had time to reset it. And once Nunnery gets that ball down, comes up, perfect placement through the middle. It's this ball right here that he lets go. And that perfect drop from Nunnery to let him back in. But like you said, Chad, it's DeHart letting that ball go, which would have been very difficult reset for him. But it allowed Nunnery to play that off a big bounce, reset it, come in, and then attack. So Newell and Paylette calling the timeout on the court to give themselves a minute to try and stop this momentum because DeHart and Nunnery one point away from punching their ticket to our men's doubles semifinals here in Cincinnati. Oh, they hold one right there as DeHart and Nunnery were on second server. Wow, Ooh, big, big serve. Big sub, big gust. And this is a massive moment here on championship court as DeHart and Newell, or excuse me, Newell and Paylette trail by one, 9-10. Still on their first serve. Chance to tie things up. Oh, DeHart was rolling out of the way, and he rolled into the net. DeHart giving everything to try and wow. get that dink back over the net, but called for the fault. So it's 10-10-1. Ben Newell with the serve, misses it. Wow, huge moment right there. Second serve for Paylette. There was the hard play tentative right there. Yeah. It, it looked there were a couple balls that he would typically speed up and he doesn't there. Instead, it's match point opportunity now for Newell and Paylette. Paylette with the serve. Oh, just out. <laughs> oh, leaving that ball go through the middle. Your heart stops as you're watching it go past you. Going, please go out. Please, please, please. Where's that wind? Uh, step in drive there from DeHart. Right at the waist of Ben Newell. Ties us up. Riley DeHart with the serve. Excellent reach in from Paylette. Goes right at that left hip of the heart. He was sitting a little higher on the backhand. Wow, that finds the sideline. Yes, you're pointing at the same that spot. That was like two millimeters in it, whether that ball was in yeah. or out. So it's another match point opportunity here for DeHart and Nunnery. Little miscommunication in the middle, and it's all the opening that Newell and Paylette need to get the ball back on their side. And frustration from Nunnery and DeHart as again another one slips away. in there from Paylette. But you watch him step over. He steps over with the right foot, but the back foot doesn't follow, right? And so his whole body's not there. He's got to completely slide over and get that. It's almost Floated. too much hesitation there from, from the heart. Nari started moving, 
the Hart thought he was going to take it. Somehow pushes it back over, and then Paylette tries to push it out wide. So DeHart and Nunnery with two chances here to end this match. Oh, they only need one. DeHart and Nunnery find ways to paint the sidelines, even in challenging conditions here in Cincinnati, to move on to the men's doubles semifinal, and they could not be more excited. We'll hear from the duo when we come back to the APP Blastic Classic Cincinnati on ESPN+. Plus. Need to sell tickets for an event? From Sports Illustrated's official ticketing platform, introducing Box Office. Manage ticketing for sports, festivals, fundraisers, and more, paid or free. And we go beyond the barcode. Introducing Super Ticket. Super Tickets are secured by blockchain technology and transform into exclusive digital content, promotions, and rewards between the event and guests. Cheaper, better, simpler, more secure. Sports Illustrated Tickets. Partner with us for your next event. by Gamma. Play to live, live to play. Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs. And Humana, official healthcare partner of the APP Tour. And we take a look at how Gamma live to play rally of the match. The step in from DeHaat, the exchange, and the aware to let that ball go, let Nunnery reset, step up and finish the point. We're going to throw it down to Dominic Catalano, who's courtside with our Franklin post-match interview. All right, Ryler, we're missing Rob, but that's okay. I got you. Singles. <laughs> All right, going into that match again, wins playing havoc today. Yeah. Was it different side to side for you guys? Honestly, it was like kind of a side win, and it was swirling so much. I, I don't think it mattered what side you were on. It was bad both ways. So we were just trying to figure it out. There he is. I thought I was playing singles for the rest of the day. So, again, you know, Rob, I asked, I asked Ryler if it was different side to side. It seemed like it was. But in that third game, it seemed like you had the bad side to start, but you figured it out. What was the game plan for that? Yeah, this side was definitely a little tougher. I think the idea is just to get as many points as you can on this side. And that side, you can hit through the ball a little bit more. The wind's coming pretty hard um, to the left, right to left. And, uh, yeah, we could crank over there. It's tougher on this side. Uh, you got to dial it back. All right. Well, congratulations, boys. Moving on on the men's pro side. We'll take a quick break. Next up, women's doubles here at the APP Vlasic Classic Cincinnati. Yeah. 